It shows that you care about your city. Road to Washington on the 19th. We were unfortunate enough to lose all of our surface water to Portsmouth and Norfolk. But that does not suffice. They want what's left, the groundwater. And we must fight to doomsday if necessary to see that they don't get it. We are in this fight for keeping. Several local leaders, including former Vice Mayor Moses Riddick, Laura Elmore, and Auto Workers local president Benford Hunter, turned out to lend their support to this latest protest. Original plans call for members of Save Our Underground Resources, or SOUR, to burn questionnaires sent out by Norfolk to well owners near the Navy's antenna site here at Peanut Park. Instead, the group called for the whole city to join in their crusade against Norfolk drilling wells and driver. We got these little letters from uh, Norfolk. They want to know what we use our well for. What do you use your well for? So anyway, some of us has got it into the lawyer's hands, and some of them has turned them back into us, and a few of them has sent them back to Norfolk. But anyway, we need the support of the citizens of Suffolk. We need you bad, and you need us. This is one time that the whole city of Suffolk has got to unite. Sour President James Lawrence says the group scrapped its plan to burn the questionnaires because it thought the idea was juvenile. Norfolk sent the form seeking information for its damage reimbursement fund to pay citizens for well damage caused by pumping deep wells on the Navy site. Lawrence says the group plans to mail a number of the forms to Norfolk unanswered to symbolize their anger, and he said Sour members will appear before Norfolk City Council this Tuesday. Ava Hurdle, Area Tonight Witness News, Suffolk.